Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Boswell from Kurval.com and uh, today I want to show you a few tips and tricks I have uh, discovered by chance and I really don't want you to miss. We are going to go through how to extract queries or par parts of a query. We are going to see how to easily replace values in a specific cell and uh, we are going to see how to activate the snap to grid uh, functionality that it was introduced in the October uh, update from Power BI. So without any more delay, let's start. So here we are in Power BI. We have a simple report. The data just in this case is not so important. What we are going to do is we're going to go to edit queries. So we go into the query editor of Power Query. And what we want to do here is uh, we want to extract part of a query, an existing, existing query. I tried to do this uh, last week and what I really wanted to do was instead of copying the entire query, you can do it here, duplicate. What you can do is go to this step that you want uh, the, your query to end. And then, as you can see, it says extract preview. So if I would like to uh, extract everything, including remove columns, I will stand on the one below. Once there, click extract previews, and we're going to give it a name, extracted query and this is important uh, look what happens here is the extracted query that it ends at uh, removed columns that's true but look what happens with the original query I was a little bit surprised by this actually uh, if we go up to source you see that now the source is the extracted query let's go into advanced editor you see that might be what you're looking for, but it might not. So you have to watch out for that. In case that was not what you wanted to do, what you could do is of course go here and copy the code, right? And then add it back in here instead. Of course, with a comma on the last one, so. And you have, of course, to change the reference to that. It's not source anymore, it's that one. So now you have a copy. I mean, this is a very short query, right? So it doesn't really matter. But if you have a very long query, you don't want to do a duplicate and remove all these hundred steps or whatever you have. Um, there is a benefit for referencing the query because this is they are exactly the same this will refresh once and then it will just go to the other one so the refresh time will be less so you could actually leave them like power query does but i just want you to make this to to show you the difference in what actually power query is doing i was a bit surprised that it was referencing on the original one and not on the copy one the one that was extracted that became the original somehow which i find quite odd but anyhow that that was a trick that you can use and it will save you a lot of time um, the next trick i want to show you is uh, replace values you might wonder what kind of trick that could be but I have found myself in very long lists and you know sometimes in languages that I do not speak so you want to replace a word with another one and you don't even know how that word is written and it takes quite a long time and you make errors and so it, the replace values can get quite complicated depending on what you're trying to do. So one of the nice features I discover is that you can actually go to this cell Let's say that product 8, we want to be product 88. So you right click and then in replace values, what it will do is it will copy 
the text that is on that cell and then you can just replace it with whatever you want. So instead of you have to write these, I mean you might do a mistake because it has to be exactly the same, you could just right click and add it. So if there are of course more product eight, it will change all of them. Okay, so it's not just changing the cell, it's changing every item that has that um, those words on it. So th there is no difference between that replace and this replace right here. Just, just so you know. The last trick I want to show you is uh, this is from the October update, Power BI update. Um, it, it's been rolled out a bit quiet, I would say. No, I haven't seen a lot of blog posts on it and it is a pity if you miss it because it's very useful. I, I'm still getting used to it but it is the snap to grid. So if we want to place this thing somewhere in our visual what we can do now is first show grid lines and then snap objects to grid. So you'll see that it doesn't, it's like not very clear snap but it does you, you, you have to get the feeling for it, but it, it does go. So let's say that we want it there. This I think is quite nice that it's actually snapping in there and ignoring this border. And then it's also snapping when you are opening and closing. So as you see, it goes one by one. So it makes so much easier to just do a nice report where everything is aligned. Now, to get this, um, you need to activate it. You have to go to File, Options and Settings, and then you have to go to Options. And in Preview Features, you have to activate it here. Grid Lines and Snap to Grid. So make sure you do that, otherwise you won't see these in your Power BI um, program. So if you have a Power BI tip and trick that you would like me to show others, just let me know in the comment box. I will be happy to do a video about it. Um, but for today, this is all. Okay, so this is all for today. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions and suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, subscribe i have power published power bi videos every week so have a great evening bye